Hey there, someone someone was asking me um, about uh, my dragon rig, and uh, here's my dragon kind of just sitting here. And um, so let me show the bones here. He was asking me basically how I did um, the neck and the uh, the tail of the dragon. So as you can see here, uh, let me go to like frame 40 or whatever. So as you can see here, we can I can grab these, and the tail acts very sinuous. And it kind of kind of moves around like a like a rope or something, and the the uh, head as well, the neck, uh, I can move this kind of independently, so I can get a lot of different motions out of it. And if I rotate this one, oops, it's this one down here. The whole neck moves. Um, the head uh, here is is kind of parented to that, so uh -huh. so I can get some stuff going on here. And uh, anyway, um, I can show you um, how I did that and some other things I did. Uh, with this rig, so uh, first let me turn on, um, on my display options here. I'll shift click on that so I can bring up the um, in my other tutorial on using the display modes. I showed you how to uh, put the different pieces of the armature into different layers. So um, what I did here for the neck and for the head, uh, which actually was a lot of trial and error, but once I found out how to do it, it was so easy. Um, so I, I set my, let me hit tab and go into uh, my edit mode. And um, I, I just set up my tail here with a bunch of straight bones. And then I just created some bones kind of sticking up like this. And uh, these are kind of the uh, IK targets for each of these uh, pieces of the tail. And I'm in B-bone mode. You can see down here it says B-bone. And... Um, each one of these tails I gave four uh, tail bones I gave four segments to okay you can see here that uh, it's got four segments in that one bone and all I did was um, I took these little uh, bones here and used them as targets IK targets um, so I just added the um, IK uh, constraint and had it point to this um, this bone here as its target and I just set the um, uh, chain length to one. And I did that for each of these bones. Each one of these bones is pointing at this as an IK target. It has to be um, IK. Uh, there is a track two constraint that I tried and it didn't work right because there's something about the way the IK works that will keep the bone kind of pointing at it. And if you use this combination of um, the B bones with segments, as many segments as you need, to uh, make it look bendy enough, uh, B bones and um, IK targets, uh, you get this really uh, kind of nice look, and it's um, it's extremely easy to set up. I mean, it, it just once you once you know what to do, I mean, it just takes just li literally seconds to to set up a tail like this, and um, so you can see uh, you get a lot of nice bending and stuff. Now it's not perfect. There's still some things that you can't do, but um, for most purposes. It's quite nice, and um, it's it was so easy. Uh, this one here is the exact same thing. The neck, just uh, the only thing is that in the head, um, I have the the head bone actually parented. Um, wait, did I parent? No, uh, no, actually copying the rotation of this. Um, it had to be parented to the uh, neck bone, of course, but uh, I have it copying the rotation so that this one I can just um, have it uh, kind of move around. Oops. Um, as that uh, rotates, so, um, and then this actually version of the rig that you're seeing here is not uh, kind of the final version. This is just the one I had on my one computer here. Um, and then the other thing is, uh, so you know, this rig has been updated a little bit. The other th other thing I want to show you was was the hands and the feet. Uh, I can show you on the feet very easily. I have this little bone. I added this little technique here. Um, instead of just having the feet and the toes and stuff be uh, like FK, I uh, added IK to each of these. So as you can see here, just standard IK like I've showed you to do in the other tutorials. So I have these little IK targets. And what I did was I just parented these IK targets to this bone here. And now, if I just go into my scale here, I'll select normal as the scale mode. So now, if I scale this out, you'll see that they the uh, toes. I can use uh, scale in and out to curl and stretch the toes out. I wonder, if, I wonder if you can see it pretty well here. And if I scale it out to the sides, I get like a spread and a pinch on, on the um, 
on these guys. Okay, and scaling it up and down will will give it this kind of like up and down kind of motion, like a digging kind of motion and stuff. And then of course I can rotate this whole thing and make the uh, the whole uh, shebang kind of rotate around. If I want to rotate left and right, I don't know why I'd want to do that, but um, you can do that. Uh, and just by hitting S, just to scale the whole thing, you'll see I can get that kind of motion. But this is a really nice. Uh, I did it with with all of these, and I'm thinking about. The uh, the thumb maybe doesn't need it as much, but you can see here on the fingers especially. I think the thumb I, I will make separate from that in the future. But you can see here with these these main fingers right there, that um, just by scaling this out, you get uh, like a finger spread, and you don't have to really do anything to do. This is the kind of stuff I like. It's stuff that is easy to set up because you know the more complex things get, the more um, the more trouble you get into with um, you know, just things going wrong and you, then why did things go wrong and you know troubleshooting and you're doing all this troubleshooting instead of animating and so I like to get as much control as I can with the minimum amount of fuss um, some of the rigs I've seen are just fantastic but I, you know they're just way beyond me and stuff like that and, and then in, in the end you know the fewer controls you have the, the faster your machine is going to be so um, just by rotating this and scaling this Oops, and you can of course go too far like that. It's easy to do. Just rotate and scale, and then I just I just kind of parented those uh, targets to this, and then just parented this this object here, which I'm calling the hand control. Just parented it to the foot there, so that oops, so that uh, the whole thing kind of goes along for the ride. Those were the basics. I've already shown you how to do the wing, and so uh, at this point, you've seen most of that stuff. You can see uh, I've got B bones in the kind of the spine here so that if it uh, rotates uh, it will give it some smoothness and the other thing is I, I originally I had set these uh, b-bones to like two or three but I found that um, four was giving me a real nice deformation and as you can see here if you move it um, you, you can see that uh, the neck is actually moving in a, a manner that you would expect and um, right now I don't have the rotation set up to do anything on those but that's basics of that and uh, I hope that helps you out if you're rigging a similar, similar creature